I'm pondering something that many of my conservative, Republican, constitutionalist type friends feel very passionately about, but I don't think that the foundations, the premises that they hold are really adding up to what they come to the conclusion of. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong here. And I know that a lot of this is due to uh, corporate press, corporate media just pumping out what they want a certain segment of people to know. But if you ask the typical conservative, do you think there should be a lot of government or a little bit of government? What, what are some of your problems with government? Well, I think most would say, well, we would like a very small, as small as is necessary to achieve what we want, just as small of a government as possible. And something we hate about government is all the bureaucracy and paperwork. It just needs to be simple, common sense, cut and dried, clear. This is how things are. You shouldn't have to jump through a bunch of hoops for stuff. And I go, gosh, you know, I, I don't agree that we need any government, but if I did, um, then I think we'd be in complete agreement because I agree about the bureaucracy and the form for this and the paperwork and blah, 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 blah. I agree. That's horrible. And so we smile, we, we, we tip our beers to each other. And then I say, hey, um, another question, who do you think the group of people are in the, in the country who are, who are the least quality or good or, or honest kinds of people? And I think almost all Republicans would say, well, the politicians, the politicians are just all a bunch of, of scumbags. Uh, they're just horrible people. Um, the, they're the worst in the world and, and I don't trust them and they're immoral and such. And I'd say, yeah, well, yeah, you know, I, I can't disagree with that. We'd tip our beers again. And then I would say, what do you think the, what do you think about Martin Luther King Jr.? Uh, do, what do you think about that speech he gave about how people should be judged by the, the character, their character and not the color of their skin and, and that kind of thing? And, and what do you think about hard work? What, what makes a good person? And the conservative will say, well, you know, a person who gets up in the morning and, and works hard for their family is willing to live frugally and just goes out and puts in a good, long, hard, honest day's work. Um, that's, that's who I like. And, you know, probably somebody who's not running around being one of those homosexuals or anything like that. And, um, just a good family person probably has a strong faith, a belief in God. And, and I'd say, well, okay, we're, there's some areas there we don't agree on. I, I agree about the hard work. And so we, at least we agree on that and we tip our beers again. And, and then I would say to him, well, what do you think about the immigration? Oh my gosh, it's just the end of the world. All these people are coming up. And I'm like, what are they doing? Oh, well, they're moving up here. They're living frugally. They're taking care of their families and they're taking personal responsibility. A bunch of, they're all mostly heterosexuals, but they're coming up here. They're going out, they're getting these jobs. They're making this money and they're spending it all just to make the, their lives better. And they're pursuing their happiness, trying to, you know, put a, a roof over their head and food in their kids' mouths. And, ugh. and I said, well, we, are you having something against the people? Is it because they're brown? Oh, no. No, I don't mind that they're brown at all. Like, I'm not a racist. Um, I, I'm completely the opposite. I just, you know, if a person's going to come here from another country, they need to do it the right way. And I go, oh, well, what's the right way? And then, well, you need to do a bunch of bureaucratic stuff. You have to fill out a bunch of forms and wait for the bureaucrats to do all of their things. And and, and you, because it's important because you got to follow these laws because these laws were written by elected officials, you know, the people who I who I don't trust or like or think make good decisions. So that's my stance on the the immigration issue. issue. Um, <clears throat> now, I've got to get back to watching Fox News because I'm not sure what I need to spout next. Mm -hmm.